Developed right here in the triangle, the latest weapon in the war on robocalls is an automated system capable of analyzing the content of all of those annoying calls that we all get. Yeah, consumer investigator Steve Sprager digging deeper into how that tool can help fight robocalls on a new level. Steve. This is quite interesting, especially if it works as well as they hope it does. The tool is called Snorkall. It's designed to help regulators, phone carriers, and law enforcement who are looking for ways to combat those ubiquitous robocalls. Hello, this call is an official final notice. We've actually called you several times. It's enough to drive you crazy, and in some cases, the robocalls are relentless. Now, researchers at NC State have come up with a tool which analyzes the content of robocalls. If you want to prosecute these scammers in a court of law, you have to you have to be able to say in detail what it is they did and why it's illegal. And uh, what our tool does is make it a lot easier for an investigator to do that automatically. Uh, so they don't have to listen to 10,000 robocalls that all say the same thing because our our tool can show them exactly what it's saying. How do they do it without violating privacy? Well, for the last two years, they've monitored scores of robocalls coming into 66,000 phone lines, which they own. We have a machine answer these phone lines um, and record the first 60 seconds, seconds of audio that they hear. What our tool does is allow us to go from that raw audio recording to a deep and detailed analysis of what it is that the robocallers said. They can figure out trends as well as how scammers operate and give regulators and phone carriers ways to stop the crooks before they can do serious damage. Does it actually block robocalls or does it figure out where they're coming from or what? So we're not trying to block robocalls for end users. We are trying to figure out how these scammers operate and how to eventually build the tools that regulators and carriers need to actually stop the bad guys. Now, the tool is still considered a research prototype, but the professor says in a couple of months, it should be ready to be deployed to law enforcement and phone carriers so they can then use it live on their networks. And we'll see how that works. Working for you, I'm consumer investigator Steve Sprecher. Hopefully it works. Yeah, say, it's let's the hope text it messages. They never call, but they text a lot. Yeah. Well, all of it needs to yeah. go away. All right. Thank you.